When you have already dealt with all of your personal business, you need to find a way to fix your classroom. You need to find a way to prevent the roof from dropping on your head. We are currently in the process of sharing and working to compile the, the, the state of some of these schools. But infested, where they have wood lice, right? And you ask the managing authorities who majority of them are church state schools. They will tell you they are not responsible for that. Go and have a bazaar and make sure you get enough money to fix your classroom. So uh, we are saying enough is enough. Ya basta. This is way too much. We have tired of dealing with the inefficiencies of this system. And on top of that, you will come to us and say, well, that's your problem. You, if we're going to fix this thing, we need to do systemic changes and not trying to scapegoat the teachers. We're not here to say that we are not cognizant that our role as teachers is one of the most um, important when it comes to our student learning. All right? That's a fact that's established in literature. We know that from basic common sense. What we have a problem is that the insinuation, because these are politicians, they will not come out and say, oh, they aren't teaching enough for teach. Well, maybe Johnny would, right? Because he kind of um, loose. I think definitely the system failed him. As I said, if you continue to put very qualified people in the same system, it will continue to produce the same results because the problem is the system. So if you want to change it, you need to change the system.